That is no cash in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the We are all rebels and rule breakers. <laughs> So now we're down to one, so we're going to see what he thinks of Mama out in the field and see what Mama thinks of him. Right now, he thinks he's a human and he wants Daddy Rai Rai to pick him up. <laughs> Let's go see what Mama thinks of you. really greening up spring is definitely here <laughs> so much forage for the goats and cows and pigs and ducks and chickens you can see we got lashes and friendship on the other side pigs in the middle and the goats over here Let's see what she thinks. Aww. Truly, you're looking fat. Got some storm clouds on the horizon. Better hurry up and get chores done. All right, little guy. Meet the lambs. If the lambs are nice to him and they're not bullies, then he will start transitioning out here with them. We're still trying to find him a good home. The home has to be somebody who's experienced with bottle baby goats and a home that has other goats. Somebody who already has goats that's looking for a little buckling. He's not able to be weathered yet. I have to wait 12 weeks for that. Yeah. Mama wasn't interested in him. She walked away and we tried to hold her a little bit and get her to nurse and she was not having it. So we'll just milk her. We're not gonna stress her out. Her health condition has been um, downhill at the end of her pregnancy. So we are being super careful not to stress her. <laughs> as long as they don't try knocking them down pushing them over and being mean then it might be good have a little friend I know it'll be good for him Cutie pies are two peas in a pod. The kitten actually asked to go in here and sleep with the baby goat. And the baby goat loves it. So this is where the kitten is going to sleep tonight. We'll see how we do. She can get out if she wants to, but she wants in most of the time. And this goat likes it. <laughs> Sorry, I called you, bro. What are you doing, Chewy? What? What are you doing? <laughs> I said no goats in the house. Why is this goat in the house? What are you doing, Chewy? Dada says no cats in the house. What was that, Liam? Dada says no cats in the house. <laughs> we are all rebels and rule breakers. <laughs> Let her go. She wants out. You guys, you're being so good to this little boy. <laughs> 
He is just passed out in the sun. He likes it out here. Probably still bring him in at night just to be on the safe side. But I did see him go in there with the lambs earlier. So there is a good chance that they will accept him for sleeping too. <laughs> Liam, don't be scared. You just lash it. She wants to lick you. Lashes you. <laughs> Pretty girl. You're being good out here. I appreciate it. Finally gotten to the point where Lashes is staying in. She is finally too big to fit through some of the barbed wire where she used to sneak out when she was just a little heifer. She's still a little heifer, but she's a big heifer now. Look at that. They are like the same size. Big girls. They're looking so good. Looks like Lashes got a nice thick curly winter coat, so they're just beginning to shed that out. I think Mama started shedding hers out sooner, so she's already getting in her spring coat. Hi. Sweet cows. We gotta get you a bull. What do you got to say, Mama? What are you saying, huh? Peaches, you're so cute. Peaches is due to Pharaoh in April or May, depending on when the boar got with her. He was here long enough to be either or. Oh, the baby spent so much time outside. He got a little sunburn on his nose. He's doing really good staying out during the day with the lambs and coming in at night for his bedtime bottle to go night night. Eventually, especially as it warms up at night, he will stay outside with them. Are you getting some baby loving in? Oh, you want to hold it, huh? He's busy being a sheep. He's learning how to be an outside boy. You miss him, huh, Odin? You liked him being in the house. Oh, he misses you. Precious. <laughs> he is liking it out here. Bless you. Yeah? <laughs> Are you loving on that baby, Mincy? <laughs> I have to take the buckling out of the pen when I feed him because the sheep want his bottle. They're mad they don't get to have as many bottles as he does, but he's much younger. He's only a week old. Well, a little more than a week old, but he still needs lots of bottles. You guys, you guys are big and fat. I don't think you need any bottles anymore, but you're still getting them because you're spoiled. You like that kitty too? <laughs> I love how all our animals just get along so well. They're so sweet. <laughs> What are you doing with the kitty? <laughs> she lay down on you. <laughs> Silly kitty. Oh my, these girls are liking that alfalfa hay. We ended up getting some alfalfa to help put some weight on after the winter. Seemed like they had dropped a lot of weight. And we were worried it could be because of the Bermuda grass hay because they get plenty to eat. But now we're just keeping on top of things and spoiling them a little bit. I wish alfalfa hay wasn't so expensive. We would feed it year round. The price goes up so much in the winter on it that it really is cost prohibitive. But we did find a good deal on some, so we went ahead and grabbed up a bunch. I am so glad you're not trying to sneak out. One of the things I really love about Piney Woods, 
cattle is their love for eating browse. They have eaten all of the lower vines. They're eating blackberry, green briar, honeysuckle, roses, wild roses. Good job, girls. Keeping it nice and cleared around our back fence line. It's a little, a little brisk, but hopefully it wasn't too brisk for the baby boy who spent the night with the lambs. I didn't hear a peep out of him all night. I hear the lambs hear me coming, hoping this went well. Oh, now they're all, they know I'm here. Good morning. Oh, let's eat you out. These babies want their battle. Oh, good job. You ladies kept him nice and warm all night. Oh, let me get the aggressive lambs fed first, little buddy. Those girls are too aggressive with their bottles, so I had to give them theirs real quick. And I'm actually gonna have to step out of the pen with this little guy for his bottle, or else they'll just be mean and pop him and not let him get a good drink. There you go. He's good about taking his bottle nicely. <laughs> we have an excellent potential home that most likely we'll be picking this guy up in a couple of days. And we are super excited because it's a farm to school program where he'll be going and educating kids about farms. That's one of the best fits I could ever imagine for one of my goats. <laughs> yes, because we care so much about childhood education and agriculture education and it's going to be so nice. I will update you when I have more details.